Do you want to start your Instagram shop, be able to get the view shop option on your profile, tag products in your posts, stories and reels, all with your WordPress website? It is possible. Let me tell you how. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and making more money online. If you're interested in these types of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button below. Now to be able to enable this Instagram and Facebook shopping feature for your WordPress website, there are a few things you need to make sure you have. First, you will need an Instagram business profile, a professional one optimized for SEO with enough post and activity and a sufficient follower base as well as demonstrated trustworthiness and you need to have an account that represents your brand and that features your physical products then you will need to have a Facebook page for your business that is also optimized has a profile image cover image and again a sufficient follower base and respects the requirements that I mentioned for the Instagram profile as well then you will need a WordPress website with a unique domain that you've purchased that you can verify in Facebook with a professional website design and listed physical products in your WooCommerce shop. And you will also need a Facebook commerce account, a business manager account with a catalog with products in it. The first thing you want to do is to start with your domain verification for your WordPress site. For that, first go to business.facebook.com, go to commerce, more tools, business settings, brand safety and domains and add your domain there without the www before that. Once you do that, you'll be able to copy the HTML code and insert that into the head section of your WordPress website. To do that, go to your WordPress website, Appearance and Plugins, and install the Insert Headers and Footers plugin and activate it. Once installed, go to the plugin and insert the HTML code you copied from Facebook into the header section of the website, then click Save. After a while, you'll be able to go back to Facebook, go to your domain and click Verify. If it doesn't happen immediately, it is because it takes a while for the code to embed into your website. But if it doesn't happen after three days, there must be an error with your code or with your domain. So you can troubleshoot those issues by watching this video right here. Next, you need to ensure that you have a catalog created in your business manager and that you have a commerce account for it. For that, you will need to make sure that your WordPress account and WooCommerce are not yet connected for the Facebook sales channel. You will need to go to data sources and catalogs and click add new if you don't have a catalog created already. Then you will need to add 10 items manually by adding their image, title, price, website link and description and as well mark them all as in stock. Make sure to not add the title or description all written in caps lock as that can cause errors in your catalog. You should also avoid using special signs in your title and description. And if any of your items are on sale, make sure to add the main price and then the sale price next to it as well. Because when Facebook will review your website for those products, they will want the price to be accurate as you added it in the Facebook catalog. Once you've added your products into your catalog, it is time to properly set up your commerce account for business. And for that, you can watch this video right here to learn everything that you need to optimize. But mainly, you will need to go to the settings of that commerce manager and go through all the things, including shipping and returns, and fill those out correctly before applying for this feature. Once you think you have a sufficient follower base on both sales channels, both the Facebook page and your Instagram account, you can go and apply for this feature from your commerce manager in Facebook by going to shops. There, they will ask you to add your domain name, to select it, to select your sales channel that should be connected in between them, to add your email for your business, select checkout on another website, confirm the countries you're shipping to and agree with their commerce policies and then click finish setup. This will put your account up for review and your commerce account up for review as well and you should hear from them within two weeks with the result. If you ran into any product issues in your catalog, make sure to watch this video right here and fix them before applying for this feature. Now your shop will be put up for review and it can take up to two weeks as I've said until they give you a resolution for that. If you see that you've been disapproved for any reason such as products are not available on your website or your domain hasn't been properly verified or for any other error that might come up when you apply for review, make sure to watch this video to learn how to fix them. Once you're approved for this feature, you can now tag products in your posts, stories and reels as well as on your Facebook page. But what if you want to stop adding the products manually into your Facebook 
catalog every single time you upload a new product to your WooCommerce shop. To enable automatic product upload into your Facebook catalog, you will need to go to your plugins on your WordPress website and install the Facebook sales channel plugin that will automatically help you create a pixel that will track those products and upload those products to your catalog. If your pixel will be installed correctly, your products should sync into your catalog. It can take a while before you see them in your shop as well, but they should be uploaded automatically within that pixel. Once your shop has been approved and all your products are synced into your catalog, you can now start creating collections for your shop that will appear in your Instagram and Facebook shop. If you want to learn how to do that step by step, make sure to watch this video right here. So there you go. This is how you enable Instagram and Facebook shopping for your WordPress website. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such content every single week. You can also follow me on Instagram at lead.incomingsuccess and on TikTok as well for more tips on growing online with social media and making more money online. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.